Hello and welcome to Viewpoint. I'm Volodymy Solovub. Join me now to discuss the fallout of the Paris attacks is the ambassador of France to Ukraine, Madame Isabel Dumont. Madame Ambassador, welcome to Viewpoint. Hello. Madam Ambassador, first of all, let me express our deepest condolences on the uh, tragic events which happened um, on Friday, November 13th in Paris. And uh, can you tell us how do these attacks, these terror attacks, change the position of France vis-à-vis -vis ISIS? I wouldn't say that, uh, that they changed the position, but they reinforced the position. You might have heard our president, the French president, François Hollande, yesterday in a huge event when he, he spoke uh, for 40 minutes in front of the, all the, the Congress. We call it the Congress when the, all the parliament uh, is uh, together in Versailles. And he said that he intends to reinforce uh, the fight of France against uh, ISIS. And that's what we've started today to do already two days ago, uh, especially with, uh, with the planes uh, attacking uh, ISIS yeah, uh, there were positions. immediate attacks on, right. on, on the Raqqa um, the city in, 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 so, in ISIS so that's, stronghold. So that's the th first thing that we, we are going to do and we started to do already is attacking even more. And the second thing obviously that, uh, that we are doing is protecting ourselves even more. Well, talking about the protection, uh, at le according to the reports, at least one of the terrorists um, got into the EU and then consequently to France uh, along with, with the migrants' flow. Uh, will that fact, will that detail change the France's policy towards the migrants' flow from refugees from uh, Iraq and Syria? Well, I'm not in a position to tell you if, uh, if uh, the, the position uh, is going to, to change. What I can tell you uh, is that there is a debate in France, there is a, a debate not only in France but in, in many other uh, countries in Europe about how to deal with this refugee crisis. Obviously, we do have to keep our values to protect our values, which is to be able to help those people who are, for the huge part of a huge uh, majority of them, suffering victims of the conflict. Uh, and unfortunately, indeed, it seems that some people use the flow of refugees to enter uh, and, uh, and uh, do terrorist acts in, in our countries and in France. Uh, so there is a debate in France now, uh, a lot of debates uh, on TV and uh, among the, the, the political community that are going to continue and we definitely have to find a solution. And obviously, um, these, these, these recent attacks, they give even more uh, sentiment and even more support for the far-right movement, especially in France. How concerned are you that the, the, the far-right will gain even more support after the Friday's attacks? This is a concern for all Democrats in all Europe. It's not only about France. It's, uh, the, 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 the refugee crisis is obviously creating a, a new climate. It's uh, not only after the attacks, but all, already some months uh, it started. So there is, a, there, there is a need to discuss uh, firmly and calmly about those attacks to find solutions. That's why uh, the, the French uh, government requested for a meeting in Brussels on, uh, on next Friday. Uh, on the Friday 20, 20th um, uh, of November to, to have all the EU ministers of interior discussing about measures that have to be taken in the framework of the French attacks. Madam Ambassador, on Friday night when the attacks happened and throughout Saturday, um, a lot of Ukrainians were bringing flowers and candles to the French embassy here in Kyiv. And on Saturday, a lot of pro Ukrainian um, politicians, um, um, the, the higher government officials, came to, to the embassy to express their condolences. And in the social media, thousands of Ukrainians, they changed their profile pictures to that with the mm -hmm. French flag, uh, flag with, with solidarity mm -hmm. uh, with, the, the, with the French people. Um, how does that make you feel about the attitude of Ukrainians towards, towards the French people? I have to say it was huge for me personally, uh, for me personally and for me as ambassador and for the embassy as a team, uh, because I'm not only in the embassy, I'm the ambassador, I'm in a way the spokesperson, but behind me it's a, it's a, a whole team and we actually had a meeting uh, at the embassy at nine o'clock on Saturday uh, the next morning to cope with all what we had to deal with and to enhance security. and. During our meeting and while the whole day and the, and the Sunday, I was always going outside to see the people with flowers. 
it was it was a huge sentiment for me to see those people crying for some of them, bringing flowers, dozens of people. On Twitter, I got hundreds and hundreds of messages of sympathy directly sent to me, uh, and this is this this is really a, a huge support from the Ukrainian uh, people, from the people and for government the, and from the the officials, as you as you mentioned, to have the president. I mean, imagine. You are an, uh, an ambassador of a country who just suffered some hours ago such a horrible act. And just some hours later, you have at the embassy the president, prime minister, vice prime minister, several ministers, ministers who couldn't come because they were not in Kiev. They called me. Uh, this was, I, I, I have no words. Uh, people who came with flowers crying said to me, I'm sorry, Mrs. Ambassador, I have no words. I have to say to them, I have no words to say to what extent I was uh, pleased is not the word, but, you know. Uh, yeah, it looks like some very moving, moving yeah. moments happening there. But Mrs. Madam Ambassador, at the same time, a lot of Ukrainians um, express the, the thought that what's, the, the way France is, is responding to these attacks uh, there were airstrikes in Syria immediately, uh, 24, some, some, some hours after, after the, 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 it was identified that ISIS was behind these attacks. It's completely different from what France is urging Ukraine to treat the terrorists operating in eastern Ukraine. The France is urging Ukraine to sit at the ta discussion table, to talk with, 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 with the terrorists, to, 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 to let them express their position, to hear them. So why these different treatments? I think you have to take into account that we, we are dealing with two different things. On the one hand, what happened in Paris, and that's why the, the whole world is being with us, including Ukraine, is a terrorist attack clear terrorist attacks in seven uh, different places, bombs, killings in some minutes. Uh, and these, uh, those attacks being claimed by the Islam, so-called Islamic State, uh, which is a terrorist organization. On the Ukraine uh, Madam issue, there were numerous terrorist yeah. attacks in eastern Ukraine which, which were killed what we civilians. Did. There was a bus attack near mm -hmm. Volnovakha. There was a, a, a missile uh, grand what? launches uh, of, of Mariupol where a, a tens of, well, a lot of Ukrainians died. The Ukrainian, the Ukrainian uh, issue uh, is, uh, is different. It is a huge, a huge issue. And you know all the efforts ha that have been done by the president, by the minister, of France and Germany together with Ukrainian, by the way, uh, and, and uh, Pre President Poroshenko always uh, is, is always you know positive about what we do. Uh, what we do on the Ukrainian issue is to help Ukraine find a solution in this conflict, in this war on in Eastern Ukraine, uh, and I think the efforts that have been done are positive, uh, see where we were one year ago, just one year ago, uh, when the conflict was again raising. And now, unfortunately, for the past two weeks, uh, uh, there are new, new problems that are really worrying. But for the past months, thanks to the efforts, uh, not only of France and Germany, but of Ukraine, uh, that has sat at the table and fi fi found a political dialogue, now we have much less casualties. So I think we shouldn't, um, we shouldn't under, underestimate all the, the results of, of what has been done in the process and the role of, of, of France in this process. Yeah, but at the same time, France is responding to the terrorist attacks with military action, whereas France is also urging Ukraine to respond in dialogue, in discussion, to the terrorist attacks which happened on Ukrainian soil? You know, I know, uh, because I've been part of this process for several months uh, and years before I, I was uh, sent here as, a, as ambassador, I know that the Ukrainian authorities know that the, the issue is different. Uh, here you have the Ukrainian forces, you have forces like the, now the expression that I think is a good expression of hybrid war, uh, it's here in Ukraine we have this hybrid war going on and we have to fight. We took sanctions, as you know, 
uh, big sanctions against against Russia to deal to force Russia to. Well, stop. you have foreign you have foreign tariffs operating on the French soil. Ukraine has mm -hmm. foreign uh, tariffs operating on the Ukrainian soil. The only difference is that the the ISIS is 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 not a state, so you cannot apply sanctions on ISIS, whereas you can apply sanctions on Russia, right? There is another difference: is that hopefully, and this is uh, you didn't have. Uh, Bombs, seven bombs exploding in uh, in Kiev uh, two days ago. It's you and you perfectly understand that it's a different uh, sort of conflict. Again, it's and I call people of of Ukraine to understand that it's not that the Ukrainian conflict is less important. It's just a different sort of conflict. So on the on the uh, ice, it's a long ISIS, lasting conflict. And by the way, and exactly, it's a long lasting conf conflict. It's it's very different situation. And by the way, we are going to work also with Ukraine against ISIS. This is something we have to do together. So it's not like one sort of conflict and another one less, less important. It's two different sorts of conflict. And for, the two, for those two different sorts of conflict, we have to work together. We have to work together, France, Ukraine and all states, against terrorism, international Islamic terrorism. And we have to work together to continue to work together, because we've been, been doing that for, unfortunately, years now, we have to continue to work together to, uh, to, to end the conflict in Ukraine. Madam so talking about the cooperation, uh, my, my final question, Ukraine is becoming a non-permanent uh, member of the Security Council of the United Nations um, very soon. Uh, France as a permanent member of the uh, Security Council. How do you see the cooperation on this highest international level between the two countries? This is, this is a very important point. Uh, we, are, as soon as, uh, and even before, but as soon as Ukraine got elected as non-permanent member, we right away offered our services, if, if I may say, uh, to help Ukraine to, to prepare for, it, for its uh, non-permanent membership. That is going to start now in one month and a half. Uh, and uh, we have uh, the director for the United Nations of the French Quai d'Orsay, the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that is coming uh, on the 18th of November uh, to have a, a first cooperation session at the, f uh, at the Ukrainian Foreign Ministry. And uh, he's going to spend the day here to meet with different people. And we, we wanted to do that as soon as possible before the non-permanent membership starts. Uh, because we have lots of things to deal with and we want to be uh, shoulder to shoulder with U Ukrainians and, and help them in this very important, uh, very important role that they will have to play, that you will have to play uh, in, uh, in the Security Council in New York. Well, let's hope that this cooperation will indeed bear some fruits. Uh, Madam Ambassador, many thanks for finding the time to come and talk to us. Madam Isabel Dumont, the French Ambassador to Ukraine. This has been a discussion with the French Ambassador to Ukraine on the aftermath of Paris attacks. I'm Vladimir Salou. Thank you for watching Viewpoint.